Bill Burt with uh, Giants assistant coach, uh, defensive backs coach Peter Junta from Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, we, I, as I told him when I started talking to him a few minutes ago, uh, he's he's ruined a lot of days for Patriots fans. And it was four years ago when I think he surprised us. I don't think they're going to surprise anyone now. Peter, talk about what it's like to go against the New England Patriots. Oh, I mean, it's, it's a great challenge. You know, growing up being a Patriots fan all my life, and, you know, my dad took us to the first Patriots game at Boston College Stadium against the Buffalo Bills. It, you know, it's just like a dream come mm. true. You hate to be on the other side, but you, know, it's, I, you love the challenge. You love to compete against the best, and obviously the best team in the AFC, and we got a hell of a challenge against them, and we're going to go out and do our best. Again, let's go back to some tough days, some memories of that game four years ago, which is arguably one of the best defensive game plans, maybe you know one of the best in history. Uh, they talk about what Belichick did to the Bills in '91. I think yours is every bit as good that day four years ago. Uh, you, know, you know, you know, Steve Spagnuolo and the staff. You know, we put together a, a good plan against against those guys, and the guys up front did a tremendous job. Michael Strahan, Justin Tuck, Osi Uminura. You know, the, the guys up front just you know did such a great job of putting pressure on Brady and our guys. You know, in the coverage and on the back end, you know, we'd stay as tight as we could to the coverage and make him hold the football a little bit longer than he had to. Or you know, make an errant throw, and you know, it, we just played off each other the whole game, and it was just a great effort by our guys up front. What is it about this Giants team? Because it, it's there's a, you know, it's a different team, but similar track. It, nothing was easy this year. Nothing was easy in 2007, but you're coming together like a team that, you know, why wasn't this team a 14 and two team, we're, we're a dominant team? I know there were injuries, but they, they just something's happened now that wasn't there really for, for a good chunk of the season. You know, I, I think you know the continuity is so much better mm -hmm. right now than it was earlier in the season because we've gotten guys back healthy. We, we've got the guys that are playing together all mm -hmm. the time. It, it's hard when you have guys in and out of the lineup all the time at the defensive line and the linebacker and the secondary. You can't develop any continuity. The last few weeks, we developed great continuity. We have the same guys in every down now. It, it, makes, it makes a huge difference for us. Uh, a lot of people in the Salem News area uh, in the North Shore uh, uh, want to hear uh, about people up there that are probably coming down. Do you know anyone, any of family members coming down? My brother Jerry's coming down with his wife Donna. Mm -hmm. They're going to fly into yeah. Indianapolis and they got to bust out and fly out of Chicago when they go home. So uh, they're making a huge sacrifice to get here to come watch us and support us in the game. How often do you get up to back, back home, we'll call it? Uh, hopefully once a year. Mm -hmm. Not much more than that because our, our skates are pretty, you know, pretty rigorous, so we don't get home as much as we'd like. You said you had a lot of fun this year covering the uh, watching the Bruins. Oh, I had a great time You're a Bruins fan. A huge Bruins fan. Huge Red Sox fan. Unfortunately, they collapsed at the end there, but the Bruins were great. You know, watching all those Game Seven wins and with the whole family, and it, it was just tremendous. And everyone's tremendous on board. The family. They are Boston fans oh, when it comes to the Bruins. On, huge. Everybody's huge on board about the whole the whole thing, the whole experience. So it was great. It was great. My daughter got to drink out of the Stanley Cup and got my uh, brother and his wife over there. So they, they had a great time. So. And you had a pretty good hockey career yourself, didn't you? St. John's Prep? I, I wouldn't say a great hockey I was with the great teams at St. John's Prep. And, uh, the Camp Miss Kid, wasn't that what they called you? No, oh, that quite. was Bobby Carpenter. Yeah, that was Bobby. He, uh, he was great. You got to meet him a few times mm -hmm. and, and talk with him. But uh, yeah, I was with uh, some great teams. We were in the uh, state playoffs every year. And uh, Paul Downey was the head coach and did a great job with us. And uh, our brother Linus, God rest his soul, you know, was our mm -hmm. freshman coach and assistant varsity coach and just did a great job for us up there. Peter, what people, do, you know, some people may have forgotten. You, you were on a Super Bowl team. Uh, that won the Super Bowl uh, with the with the Rams. Correct. And uh, that was a big win. You had a very big role in that as a co-defensive coordinator. Uh, any similarities? What's it take to win a Super Bowl? I, I think you know you got to do the ordinary thing better than anybody else, mm -hmm. and, and that's that's the difference. Uh, Randy Cross came and spoke to us when we were in St. Louis, and he told our guys it's something very ordinary will become extraordinary. And he talked about what the 49ers did with their drives and all the different things that they did when they won their Super Bowls, and it came down to a tackle. Michael Jones made the tackle at the one-yard line. And there were so many little plays on that last drive that we could have gotten off the field. We dropped the chance at an interception. We missed a sack or two. You know, we missed tackles for losses. And if you do the little things well, better than anybody else, you become a champion. That's what you have to do. It's hard to look at a local guy, look at him, see a New York logo on his shirt. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about. I sure do. But you had a nice, you've had a real nice run, and congratulations. Keep well, up the good work. Thank you very much. All right, Peter. Take care. Great talking to you. Thanks. Thank you.